Okay, number 26. A shipping company charges a cost per pound plus a fixed fee. Cost per pound, that's the rate. And a fixed fee, that's the starting amount. To ship a package. The total cost, f of x, in dollars of the shipping x pounds is modeled by this function here. So total cost equals, I'm going to say this means $4.99 per pound plus $5.75. And so it asks, which part of this function represents the fixed fee? Well, hopefully this jumps right out at you. It's the 575. The 575 is the fixed fee. Um, I know in our class we studied and we, we, we saw um, the connection between the rate of change and the starting amount. The rate of change is the slope. The starting amount is the y-intercept. Okay, and that's the fixed fee in this problem. It's the one-time amount. It's not the rate of change, it's the one-time amount, $5.75. Okay, last question, number 27. Oh, no, there's a couple more. A theater sells tickets for a concert. Tickets for the lower level seats sell for $35. And then tickets for the upper level seats are $25. They sold 350 tickets for 10,250. How many tickets of each type were sold? Okay. Well, this is a system of equations here. They sold 350 tickets, and they want to know how many of each type were sold. I'm going to go ahead and choose two variables. We need to find two things, so we need two variables. L equals the number of lower level tickets sold, and U is going to be the number of upper level tickets. And we know that they sold 350 tickets. So L plus U is 350. Okay. The total income from the sales was 10,250. Okay. If each lower level ticket was $35, take 35 times L, and each upper level ticket was $25, 25 times U, this needs to come to the total income of 10,000. 250. So this is my system of equations, and there are a lot of ways to solve this. Um, I kind of like maybe the elimination method here. If I take this equation here, and I multiply by negative 35 on the left side, multiply by negative 35 on the left and on the right. And so by doing that, this is the elimination method, that top equation now becomes negative 35L minus 35U equals 350 times negative 35. It's negative 12,250. Negative 12,250. The other equation, I'm going to write it underneath. And the point of doing this is that if I now add these two equations together, I can eliminate the L variable terms, and I end up with negative 10U is equal to negative 200. I mean, it's negative 2,000, sorry. Let me double check. Negative 1, 2, 2, 5, 0. Yep, negative 2,000. And so to solve this, divide by the negative 10 on both sides. And I get u is equal to 200. All right? So if u is equal to 200 and L plus u is equal to 350, 
then it just does a little mental calculation there. That means L has to equal 150. So I'm thinking those are my answers. Upper level 200, lower level 150. I know that those two numbers add up to 350 tickets, but let's check and see if it adds up to $10,250 in sales. So if I take 35 times 150 plus 25 times 200, let's check and see what that total is. 35 times 150 plus 25 times 200 is 1,000 or 10,250. So I checked it and it worked. Okay, so last one here, I think, yep, 28. Okay, a function is shown, what is the minimum value of the function? Okay, that means the lowest y value. Okay, so again, I'm gonna just encourage you, if you wanna know what the lowest, the minimum value is for this function, First thing I would say is, because that there's something squared here, this is a quadratic graph. And so if you want to see this really quick, then get your technology pulled up. And instead of f of x, remember we make it y equals 5 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 3. There are other ways to do this, but looking at the graph is the quickest way to accurately identify the minimum value of this function. So 5 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 3. Okay, here's the equation. Let's look at the graph. All right, I would say this lowest value here corresponds with 3 on my y-axis, so the lowest value, the minimum value of this function is three, it's that easy. All right, I'm gonna draw a quick sketch of that. Again, using the technology, you can see three is the lowest value of the function. All right, that is it. It is finished.